Hello viewers, Baltic here, we're in one of my favourite places, Liverpool. Let's take a wee walk, I'll let you know what's been going on. Pretty cold, wait to show you this viewers. Not McDonald's. So we're in Liverpool, we're not far from the train station, just round the corner, Liverpool Lime Street. Across there we've got Shanghai Palace, quite a nice Chinese over in there. Up there we've got Bow Street, lots of international restaurants on the way up there. I'm heading up there later on, probably to the Hot Water Comedy Club. I can get a ticket for the five o'clock show. Guinness time viewers, check it out, Guinness time. Wee story down there, booked a hotel a couple of years ago. Turned up and the hotel was shut, they didn't tell us. Had to stay in the Adelphi Hotel. If you've seen the videos online of that one, it's a cracker. Eh, but it's got some charm and history. Interesting, that's all I can say. Um, let's head down here, viewers, I'll tell you what's been going on. Hello. How you doing? Oh I certainly am. God. Nice to meet you. Well, I saw you over there, I was like, that's the Tenerife guy. Oh, <laughs> so nice to meet you, I didn't expect nice to meet Andy Lovett. Well. Oh, thanks, what's your names? Lee and Gareth. Yeah. Lee and Gareth. Nice to meet okay, you. Okay, lovely to meet you. I've never been, um, but we watch your videos. You yeah. Oh, thanks so much. Where, where are you from, Liverpool? Um, Wales, North Wales. Yeah. Oh, Wales, are you here, are you here just for a wee trip? Yeah, just for a little trip, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, lovely, yeah. lovely to meet you. I'm here just for the weekend. Nice. So my wife's away shopping, I've just decided to do a couple of videos. Don't but, but, uh, enjoy it, enjoy Liverpool. Well, thanks so much. And uh, if you meet Tenerife, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. <laughs> thanks, guys. Lovely to meet you. Nice lovely to meet you. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> viewers, viewers, can you believe that? In Liverpool, we just met lovely guys from Wales there. Lovely to meet you guys. Um, also, we shout out to Neil and Jackie, who I met on the train from Wigan, and also met in Sergeant Peppers last night, and also in a chippy at midnight. Lovely to meet you guys. Let's continue. What about that, viewers? Unbelievable. <laughs> Literally, I just started that video. And within a minute I met a couple of viewers lovely to meet you interesting to see they've not been to Tenerife but they've been watching all the videos so guys if you get to Tenerife I hope you enjoy it lovely to meet you that was so nice a wee shock a shocking start in Liverpool that's the title maybe viewers we'll see <laughs> right now there's a lot of buskers down here I'm going to need to speak over the music they're brilliant the buskers in Liverpool the bars in Liverpool are the best for live music I've been in in the UK. On a par with Benidorm, I'd say, standard wise, a lot of the bands and acts. Um, Primark, uh, where I'm possibly meeting my other half later on. She'll probably get lost, she's around in Liverpool 1 doing a lot of shopping. So we'll head down here, I will speak over the busker. I don't care if it gets struck, I'll still upload it anyway. These videos in the UK don't get many views, so it doesn't really make any difference to me to upload it. Marks and Spencers across the road. Um, we've got uh, Top Man over there. This girl's a great singer. Really good, eh? I feel bad, I need to speak over her, but I stayed in apartments just above one of the shops here before. Now I booked them and I thought they were brilliant location. And I forgot the buskers start from here about nine in the morning. It was unbelievably noisy in the morning, so I don't stay in this bit. I'm staying at the Travel Lodge, just down at uh, Central Exchange Street. Maybe five minute walk from here. So, I've got Liverpool One shops over on the left. There's lots of designer shops there. I've done actually quite a few videos on the channel um, a wee while ago. Showing you all the shops here. It's a great place for shopping, Liverpool, if you like shopping. I don't really go into any of the shops, but the good thing is, if you're here maybe with a partner and they like shopping, then you can go into any of the bars, watch your football, watch live music, whatever suits you. So they're all down that way, but I'm not heading down that way just now. I'll just let you know, um, a lot of people send me messages asking when am I going to be away, back abroad again. So viewers, I've actually had flights booked the last couple of weeks, I didn't make it. I've got flight booked just over a week's time, going somewhere. You maybe guess where, we'll see. Um, so hopefully I'll make it, so you're going to see a few more videos, I've got left literally a couple from Tenerife and Lanzarote from my last trips and that'll be it, I've literally ran out of videos and I'll be heading to hotter climates soon hopefully to do more videos. The good thing about Liverpool, if you get lost, they've got a lot of these signposts that tell you where everything is, you see them up here, 
So we're just around the corner from the Carving Quarter, Matthew Street, where's probably my favourite place, Liverpool. It is a bit of a tourist trap to be fair, but um, fantastic bands. I was in the Cavern last night. Uh, we were in Eric's, I was in Sardauk Papers, I was in the Cavern Pub. Seen some brilliant bands. Check out these guys here. This guy's always here in Liverpool. Every time I come to Liverpool, he's here. It's quite funny. So, as I was saying, we've got the signposts up here. The Lime Street Station, seven minute walk. Queen Square, Liverpool One bus station as well. And Albert Docks. I was down the docks earlier on. I was going for breakfast in a place called Panam. I don't know why, but it was shut when we got there. So that was quite disappointing. So where am I going to go, viewers? Up this way. We've usually got a sign for the Cavern Quarter here. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, there we go. One minute, Cavern Quarter. We'll head up that way. Now, let's continue. I'm still a bit speechless from meeting the viewers just starting that, that video. That was unbelievable. Lovely to meet these guys for reals. I speak to Neil and Jackie last night, and uh, they're just on a wee day trip. One night. Um, from Wigan and they love going to the comedy clubs they went to the Slaughterhouse Comedy Club last night and they love all the, the bars the live music they're staying just around the corner from me so if you come to Liverpool really you want to be staying in this area if you like all the kind of the bars the live music like Matthew Street the Cavern and all that you can't really go wrong there's quite a few travel lodge and premier inns are pretty affordable Saturday nights in Liverpool are very expensive Sunday nights are really cheap I booked in Sunday night, the travel was £26.99. <laughs> Popeyes. We'll take a wee right up here. A lot of the other streets down the side are a lot busier than this street. This is quite quiet here, believe it or not. It's a pretty busy place. I was thinking, coming at the end of January, a lot of people chilling out after Christmas. Won't be that busy here. The bars last night were pretty busy. I've got another edited uh, video coming soon on my other channel. I'll leave a link, maybe if I can remember it at the end. You'll eventually see that edited video where I go in some of the bars. I'll show you a couple of restaurants I was in. I was in a very nice restaurant last night. I'll let you know about that in a wee minute. So we're going to take a right here. It's not far from my hotel, just around the corner. Let's take a wee right. That takes us all the way back down to all the main shops there. So I'll tell you about the restaurant I was in last night. Uh, Indian restaurant called Mowgli. It's very, very popular. It's hard to get a table for it. We could only time we could get was quarter to five. So I literally just came off the train, checked in the hotel, and went round to it. And I tell you, I thought it was fantastic. I think this uh, restaurant has been on one of those restaurant startup programs. Is it Channel Four or Channel Five? Um, they've got one in Glasgow now as well, which I'm definitely going to go to. Smaller portions, but Indian street food. 100% would recommend it. Uh, they don't have any draft beers, just to let you know of yours, but they do have cans of Australia, so it's all good. Now I can go down this way towards Matthew Street, or I'll continue on a wee bit. Continue on a wee bit, eh? If you're looking for a place that sells Iron Brew, Scottish Fields over there. Up past Bull Street where we started the video, You've also got Concert Square and a few other places that are really busy. Uh, more of a younger crowd, I'd say, up in those places. Uh, Matthew Street, I'd say, is kind of mixed. More my age group. Tourists. The William Gladstone pub. One of the few pubs in Liverpool I've not been in yet, I don't think. Well, we take a wee right there. Let's go down Matthew Street. This is getting filmed about, what time is it? I don't know the time, is it one or two, one, one o'clock, it's pretty early. So I, I don't know if any of the bars will be busy yet. They're all brilliant bars down here. Um, I've done lots of walks really before showing you this. So we'll start with the Wall of Fame, check this out. You see lots of statues, we're going to meet Silver Black in a wee minute as well. All the names on the wall. So I've seen a really good guy singing in here last night. His name was Tony something. Can't remember. Uh, was it Tony Scar maybe? 
Uh, Cavern Pub, you go down the stairs, it's not the Cavern Club, so it's Cavern Pub, obviously part of the same group. You go down the stairs there, some brilliant bands on there, get in there uh, later on. They've also got a restaurant next door. Now during the summer, this restaurant will have tables and chairs outside and you can actually watch the live music and Sergeant Peppers. Sergeant Peppers looks as if it's just opened. This is a great bar as well for live music. It's where I met Neil and Jackie last night in there. So later on it'll be very, very busy. You won't even recognise how busy it is here compared to now. The reason I've come down at this time but is because I can maybe video it without all the music going on. There is a famous Cavern Club, which I was in last night and I'll be in again tomorrow. It's £5 entry to get in, or you can pay £7.50 for a day ticket. You can pop in and out as many times as you want. They've got music from 11 o'clock in the morning in there. Can you believe it? 11 o'clock in the morning. Turtle Bay. This is a place I've never been in. They just do like kind of 80s music, but there's so many bars with live music here. There's almost no reason to go in there, in my opinion. But I'm sure it's a good night out, a good bit of fun. A lot of people in Hendus and stuff are going it. This is one of my favourite bars, and it's one of the most uh, famous bars here because it's history. Eric's Bar. Check out YouTube videos online. You'll see some famous people who have played here. That's Eric's Bar. Late night bar. During the week, even like Wednesday, Thursday nights, you've got bands on here till 2 in the morning. Is that Elvis Costello? Looks like him. Yep, Elvis Costello. So many famous people play there. Obviously, I don't need to tell you about the cavern. You'll know how many people have stayed there. I'm going to show you something interesting in a wee minute. If you've not seen my other videos, hold on. All right, Chuck. Cellar Black. The original entrance to the cavern club. So you'll know the history of the cavern. Like it knocked down, rebuilt again. So that is the original entrance to the cavern club. A wee bit of history for you. You can pause the video if you want to read all about that. There's a the cues getting in the cavern club back in the day. Pretty interesting there. Eh? Now Paul McCartney recently, actually only a few years ago, played the Cavern Club, just turned up. There's a wee bit of a surprise, that's King John's pub. I've never really been in that pub much, they don't have a uh, live music on normally. But, but yeah, look at what they've got here. Fancy a pint, £2.60 for Carlin. Tetley's, I'm not a big fan of Carlin. I, I don't need I don't think that'd even take me up to 60 to be honest. But it's a good deal, isn't it? Um be busy later on tonight. All these bars. I was in here last night. Rubber Soul. Um I can't go in because they've got music on just now. That'll be busy later on tonight. It's one of the busiest bars. Live music starts from mid-afternoon and it goes on to about half seven at night at the weekends, and then a DJ comes on and the DJ is uh, it's really lively, mostly younger people. That's Rubber Soul. We've got the Beatles Museum in there as well. And next door, we've got a place that I've been in where you can actually sit where the Beatles have sat, the Grapes Bar. So you can go in there on the right hand side, there's a wee bench, and above it, it says the Beatles sat here. You get your picture taken in there. I have got a picture, obviously, in there as well. So I've been there at one point. Now, if you're looking for an Irish bar, then you have got Flanagan's Apple in there, that'll be busy again later on. Hardy's wasn't open last night so I don't know what's going on there. McCoolies is a very very popular Irish sports bar as well. A million TVs in there. Again tonight this will be jam packed. Um, really really busy. That takes us around the side as well. There's a youth hostel just right in the corner here, which is a brilliant location, if you don't mind. But it's been quite lively. Obviously it's going to be it's going to be busy here till all hours. Here is the Beatles shop. So if you're a Beatles fan, you're gonna love Liverpool. And I, I am a Beatles fan. So what a place. That's the bar, Flanagan's Apple, where I walked in the last time I was here with Anne. Um, a few years ago, I walked into the bar. Anne was shopping round when we started the walk and I sat down and the guy says to me who was next to me have you got a ticket for the game today Liverpool are playing no, I'm a Liverpool fan and I says no no chance mate sold out couldn't get a ticket and he says he's got a spare ticket so I bought it at face value it was one of the most expensive tickets it was up in the new stand up the top it was like 70 quid really dear um, they beat Spurs 2-1 and I had to phone Anne and say I got a ticket for the game just do a wee bit of shopping I'll see you later on <laughs> you took it well. Legends go in here. 
Now, I'll tell you a wee story about here. First time I came to Liverpool a few years ago, um, first bar we were in, for some reason it was in Legends, never really in there that much. But we went into Legends, standing at the bar, and the guy turned round and says, Alright mate, do you want some ketamine? <laughs> so that was interesting, viewers. Interesting. Uh, so I quickly left there and uh, we just checked out some other bars. No reflection in the bar, you can get that anywhere, can't you? You know what I mean? But the guy obviously was he, he was he was definitely on something. That's all I can say. Um, so this will bring us down the wee side street as well. Hope you're enjoying something a bit different than the normal walks I've got down the beach. So Liverpool is one of my favourite places. Brilliant for live music, um, loads of bars and restaurants. If you love shopping, lots of shopping as well. It's just a great place, everybody enjoying live music. Uh, don't, I've not been anywhere else in the UK that matches it for that. Let me know, viewers. Can you recommend anywhere else I'd enjoy? Because we always end up just coming back to Liverpool because you know all the bars, the bands are brilliant. It's just got history as well. When you're walking down Matthew Street, I mean, you're, you're walking in the footsteps of absolute legends who have played in these places. So that's us back out onto the main shopping bit, really. Just round the corner, not far, we've got Liverpool Lime Street. Still watching viewers, thanks so much. Um, what a shocking start. Lovely to meet you guys from Wales, absolute pleasure meeting you. Um, I'm away, probably pop in one of the bars for a wee pint. I'll catch up with Anne, see if she's, I think she's going to Primark, meeting her outside there. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video in Liverpool. I don't do many UK ones, I don't get any views. Uh, I'll be back hopefully in hotter places soon. Keep an eye out on the channel. Thanks very much. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel and you're way out, hit the wee subscribe button, it's absolutely free. See you later.